friends, such a great pleasure to be celebrating the 4th of July together with all of you. Mr. Speaker Konyufca, Mr. Prime Minister Kurti, Ambassador Hovenir, all of you are present today. Today we come together to mark 246 years since the United States of America was born. And on behalf of all the people of the Republic of Kosovo, I want to wish you all a very, very happy 4th of July. To those U.S. diplomats present and to all of our American friends, I know you are far away from home today and unable to celebrate with your loved ones. But I want to, you to know that Kosovo is your home too. To all the people of America who wish to visit, to work, or invest here, you and your families will always be seen as one of us, and the welcome is infinite. Distinguished guests, for the people of the Republic of Kosovo, what makes the United States of America truly great is not its sheer size or its economy, but it is the values and the ideals the nation was built on and the willingness of the American people to defend them. Freedom, as we know all too well, is not free nor a given. For us, the United States of America, and for many around the world, is the land of liberty and opportunity, the home of the free and the brave, but it's also the global defender of peace and freedom and a place of hope and comfort for people across the globe who believe in the same vision for our world and for the future. And what makes celebrating the 4th of July here special, as opposed to any other U.S. Embassy around the world, is that today is not just a celebration for the United States. It is a celebration for our independent Kosovo and our independent people too. What the United States and the American people have done for our country, for our freedom, for our right to exist, for every man and woman, for every child who calls Kosovo home, goes beyond any partnership known in the world. In our best days and in our worst days, America has always stood by us, and we will always stand by you. It is no coincidence that when we celebrate our Independence Day on the 17th of February, the U.S. flag flies high alongside the Kosovo flag. This serves to recognize the commitment of your nation to our independence, and it is our way of showing our heartfelt gratitude. Over the last few decades, our countries have not only grown stronger, but we have also grown together. As President Biden recently wrote to me, Kosovo has grown into a nation ready to share its experiences with the world and today repeatedly shows leadership on the international stage. We are determined to succeed and determined to walk with you side by side. We know that today the great American nation is facing its own fair, perhaps unfair, share of challenges in this ever-changing global environment. But if there's one thing we all know and believe in, is that America has been and will always be the greatest nation of ideas and values the modern world will ever know. During these challenging times for our continent, we, the freedom-loving Europeans, but especially the freedom-loving people of the Republic of Kosovo, continue to be guided and live by the words of so many U.S. great men and women. But I will mention only one. President John F. Kennedy, when he said, let every nation know, whether it wishes us well or ill, that we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe, to assure the survival and the success of liberty. These words were said at a different time and in a different circumstance, but when our values and everything that we have built together are under threat, they could not be more relevant or true. And on a final note, dear friends, today is about celebration, but I want to raise a toast, although I don't have a glass here, but I wanted to raise a toast to a dear friend that we lost this year, who made an immense contribution to building an everlasting bond between our nations, the late Secretary of State, Madeleine Albright, so that we can celebrate her life and her legacy. God bless the Republic of Kosovo and the United States of America and our eternal friendship. Thank you very much.